what brought you into medicine and into psychiatry in particular? Well, um, psychiatry always fascinated me because um, it was really all about, you know, human beings and why they do what they do. Um, initially, I avoided psychiatry, though. I went into pathology, and that is because it was around that time when I was choosing my medical specialty that my um, a, fa a close family member of mine um, had a psychotic break and was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So uh, that was very impactful, and I, I felt that I that if I became a psychiatrist, it would be too painful for me, um, that it would take too much out of me. So instead, I became a pathologist because I really wanted to be a teacher. I thought I would be able to teach others about, you know, cancer and stuff like that. So, but after a couple of years of pathology, I realized, oh, this is really not for me. Um, I'm not very good at it. I don't really like it. And then I was, I felt, I had some more distance then from this, uh, this family member who was then doing much better. And I decided to uh, take the plunge and go into psychiatry. And I, I really haven't looked back. It's been a very good fit for my particular brain. And did you, how did you get into the specialty of addiction? That was very Is that much, your specialty as well? Yes, I that is my is, specialty, yeah. yeah. And that was very much accidental. Uh, so I, I was seeing a patient for weekly psychotherapy and treating her with an SSRI, Paxil, for her depression. And she wasn't getting any better, and I really didn't know. You know I thought maybe I'd, I'd have to change her meds or focus more on you know her early childhood. Um, she kept nodding off in the therapy sessions. She said it was due to the Paxil. Anyway, to make a long story short, one day out of the blue, her brother called me and said she'd been in a row over car accident. And I said, well, that's terrible. What happened? He said, well, she's been using again. And I said, using? Using what? Like I didn't even understand the phraseology. And then he said, well, mm -hmm. she's been using heroin again. Isn't that what you've been treating her for? And of course, I was mortified because I had not once asked her about drugs and alcohol. She had not volunteered that information, but of course it's not her job to do that. It's my job as a skilled practitioner uh, to uncover those highly stigmatized behaviors. And I mm. hadn't even begun to do that. So that was really the moment that I thought, wow, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a bad psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I better learn something about addiction. And so that was, a, and that was, you know, uh, really the late 1990s when, when that sea change happened. And then I discovered I love treating patients with addiction. So 